Welcome back to Shooting the Bull. I'm Ken Hendricks. Today, I want to talk to you about some of the advantages of being a small-time farmer in today's world. 40 or 50 years ago, it wasn't easy to preg check your cows. What's a preg check? Well, that's simply checking about two months after you pull the bulls out if they've been bred or not. Because there's nothing worse than having a cow that you feed all year and doesn't have a calf. Now, sure, back in the day, some farmers learned to do the preg checks by reaching right up in there, getting their hand in the dirty stuff, and checking to see if there was a calf in there. But that's not 100%, and today we have a lot of tools for being able to check in a more effective way. There's simple ways to do pregnancy checks now. You can put run your animals through the chute, you can draw blood out of their tail head and send it in, and you can find out if that animal is secreting the hormones that prove that she's been already been bred. Another thing you can do is you can, of course, palpate, just like I talked about. Throw you that sleeve on there, reach up in there, and check and see if the uterus is and the uterine horn is already starting to develop a calf in there. There's different ways you can learn that and talk to your local vet. They'll be more than happy to talk with you about how to determine through palpation. But the way we do it, and it does cost a tiny bit, is that we call the vet, they bring out an ultrasound wand Stick it right up in there and check and see if there's a baby calf inside. Super simple, but preg checking your cows is a really big deal, and it can make you a whole lot of money if you're not already doing it at very little comparable cost. For seven or eight bucks, you can look at saving all of a year of a missed out cow, because if she's open, she's gone around our place. I can go buy one that's bred and ready to rock and roll for all the money that I sell that first one for, and that's the way we do it. It's tough. You have to learn to be a little cutthroat in this industry. You can't have too many old favorites that you let hang around forever and ever if you're trying to make money. That old cow that missed, well, on our place, no more chances anymore. Once we got on a breeding window, we decided anything that's outside that window, don't care if she's our favorite cow in the bunch, she's gone if she's not bred because there's another favorite cow out there that I can buy and be making me money along the way. So if you're wanting to be a successful small-time farm, get those cows preg checked. It's quick, it's easy, and it will make you money. This has been Shooting the Bull, and I'm Ken Hendricks.